Now is a good time to update yourself on Zoom safety. These easy tips for the new Zoom security control will help you to keep out uninvited guests and also to handle unwanted disruptions during your Zoom call or your Zoom meeting. In this video, I'm going to show you how the new Zoom security control is a convenient way to access several ways to secure your meeting. And we'll also talk about the choices that you want to make about these controls, depending on what kind of Zoom meeting, what kind of Zoom call you're having. Are you having a chat with family and friends? Is it a small group getting together? Is it a larger event? The different ways you use Zoom will affect how you want to choose to use these controls. Let's look at the controls and think about being in a meeting, a new meeting with nobody else here yet. What are you going to want to do? So we'll open up the security menu. At the top are two different controls that are somewhat related. They can help you to decide who gets into your meeting and when they can get in. The waiting room is a feature that lets you decide that anyone who tries to join the meeting will be put into this waiting room area and you have to let them in, either individually or all at once in a group. And that would happen throughout the meeting if the meeting room, waiting room is enabled. The lock meeting feature lets you keep anybody out. Nobody can come into the meeting. So what you might want to do is enable the waiting room feature. And that means, <clears throat> it's enabled here, that anyone who tries to join this meeting is going to be put into the waiting room. And I will need to let them in. You will need to decide who can come in to make sure there are people you want in your particular meeting and no one uninvited has decided to join. Once everybody's in that you know is going to come, you can lock the meeting so that nobody else can get in, even if you don't have the waiting room enabled. What you might want to do, if, you, if the group joining you is small enough that you know everyone who should be coming, you can enable the waiting room, you can let those people in, and once you know everybody's there, you can lock the meeting. And that way you don't have to be watching the, the waiting room for other people to join. Now, if you have a real large event, you're not going to know everybody who's coming in. And so there's not a really good reason to be using the waiting room. But you might want to lock the meeting at some point because you've decided now we're started. We don't want people to come in in the middle of things. The next three controls on this menu are things that you can choose to let participants do. You can decide if they need to be able to share their screen. I would only let participants share the screen if it's something they really need to be able to do. For one reason, sometimes people accidentally click that green button at the bottom and all of a sudden their computer screen is being shared and they don't know how to stop it and they don't want the whole group to be seeing what's on their screen. So unless you know you want people to be able to share their screen in addition to you, I would turn that off. You will still be able to share your screen, but nobody else will. And the chat feature, that's really a personal choice. Do you want people to be able to chat with each other? That can be a distraction and a disruption to your meeting, but it can also add to the meeting. It depends again on the group and what you're gonna be doing together. The renaming yourself feature, I will show you in a little bit when we get some more people in the meeting. Now, I have the waiting room enabled and someone else is waiting to come in. I have a little notification here. I can see the waiting room. I can admit them just by knowing their name. Let's see the waiting room, which also you could see by opening up Manage Participants. So here we go. Here's the person waiting and I can admit them or I can remove them. I'm going to admit them. Here they come. And then let's close up this window for now. I'm going to go back to the security menu and show you that. My waiting room is still enabled. If I have more people coming and I want to be watching the waiting room and bring them in when they come in, I leave that enabled. If I've decided at this point, you know, I don't, I can't be watching the waiting room. I don't have a co-host to help me. I might turn that off. I can also lock the meeting at this point. I'm going to decide I only want to talk to this person. 
I locked the meeting. Nobody else is going to be coming in. The other control I said I would talk to you about is the rename themselves. What that does is allow this person back here to rename themselves if they want to do that. So that's again up to you. And now there's a new feature on this menu. I can remove this participant if I want. I can decide I don't want them on anymore. And what that's going to actually do is give me a whole list of people and I can decide who I want to remove. So all those features are, can be found in other places on Zoom, but this security menu gives you a way to access them and find them in one easy spot. So now it's time for you to have fun, to get started with your next Zoom meeting and know that you know how to use these controls to use Zoom more safely.